Hi, just a quick video on how to fit um, your aero kit to your scarab knife. Um, just a couple of things you need to know. Um, pretty much you can fit it any way you want, but a couple of tips. Firstly, um, I hold it on with cable ties. Now, I deliberately don't drill the holes for you. I'll, I leave that for you to do yourself, just to drill a couple of 3mm holes for your cable ties, because that's how I hold it on with cable ties. You might be able to hold it on with a blob of um, hot glue or silicon adhesive if you wanted to, uh, but um, I like the cable ties because they're quick and easy to do. Um, makes it easy to take off, put it back on and everything. Okay, so tip number one, fit the rear section first. Okay. Um, you want to put the rear section on because it has these two long sides on it which go up the side of the, the Parasiris Air and they're actually held at the front you can probably just see me flexing them by the front canopy so the canopy, front canopy fits just over the front tips of these long arms okay so you want to get the rear section fitted first so what I do is I sit it in place line it up with the back of the air there just get it sitting normally it's designed so it will sit in front of the GPS antenna if you've got a GPS on your knife okay so um, line it up work out where you've got some matching holes underneath and what I found in this case is there's two holes just here and they line up with like the wings of the scarab logo at the back of the knife nicely so I've just drilled very carefully. It is very thin and it is a bit delicate, this material. Um, just drilled two holes, very gently, three mil holes, and popped a couple of cable ties, and that's held that nicely in place. It does have a little bit of movement to it, but don't worry about that. Okay, then I've sat the front section over the top, so again, it's capturing the front of these little wings. Now, be careful, these wings will snap off if you get a bit rough with them, okay? They're, they're fine in place and they won't break in crashes and stuff like that, but if, you get, if you're not gentle with them, they will tend to crack just along that line. If they do, you can glue them back together. A bit of um, CA super glue um, will glue them back together. If you do break it though, you might want to just put a, a little bit of material, anything really, a bit of plastic, even a Bit of a matchstick or something, glue that to the inside to reinforce the break point, but they will glue back together quite neatly. Um, so the front goes on, capturing these front things. I've got three cable ties in mine, one at the nose and two at these sides here, where the, the narrow part of the um, airframe is there, and that holds that very securely in place. And that's it, it's on. If you want to paint your um, Aero kit. I've painted mine here in nice metallic blue. Um, that's just spray can. That's just uh, spray paint. Um, it's actually Tamiya um, polycarbonate car paint that I've used. But basically, any acrylic paint will work on this. What you want to do though, before you paint it, is give it a very light sanding with a fine wet and dry paper, just to take the surface off the plastic. Then one coat of um, a primer, and then as many coats as you want to get your finish on your gloss coat. And that's it. I'd love to see some images online of what you do with your colour schemes. Uh, pick your face, favourite race team. Anything you want. Let's see what kind of colours you guys come up with. Um, part of why I did this was so that you can differentiate your knife when you go racing. The other thing is, you know, just to streamline off the air rather than just that big lump sitting in the middle. So there you go, enjoy your knife aero kits. Very easy to fit. I'll see you guys online.